What's poppin' with y'all? Quick disclaimer, I'm not a Mavericks fan. This is just the dopest jersey I have. I'm actually a Wizards fan, but I don't have any Wizards jerseys. Many Christmases ago, I ordered a Kelly Oubre jersey, but my dad got it from some shady website and a Paul Pierce jersey came for the Wizards. So it was really low quality. And I don't know, man. I don't know, it was a weird Christmas. <laughs> NBA free agency has been ludicrous. Luda! I hate talking about the artist. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna go on old Wodge's Twitter. Woj. I don't. How do we Woj? Watch. I'm gonna see each free agent tweet that he put up, and then I'm gonna start this 10 second timer. I'm gonna react to it for you. I'm gonna go top to bottom here. So we're gonna start out. Free agent Rudy Gay has agreed to a deal with the Utah Jazz. Free agent Raymond Brothers. Hey, let's reset the timer. Boom. Start it. Rich get richer. The rich get richer. The Jazz pick up a nice piece. Thought he was going to go to the Lakers, which would have been sick. But I like him on the Jazz. Hopefully, Rudy can go grab a ring. After two seasons overseas, forward Sam Decker returns to the NBA on a deal with the Toronto Raptors. I mean, it's Sam Decker. I think he used to play for the Raptors. So, homecoming, that's cool. Honestly, though, I'm going to be real with you. Don't care that much. But uh, good for him. Free agent guard Spencer Dinwiddie is nearing a deal with the Washington Wizards. Man, reset, start it up, let's go. Huge Wizards fans, that's a big dub. And Spencer Dinwiddie is a bucket. So, I mean, kind of a Russell Westbrook replacement, but I don't know, whatever. I'm excited to talk to you guys about that Russell Westbrook trade. Oklahoma City Thunder guard Shea Gilgius Alexander's agreed to a five-year, $172 million maximum rookie contract extension. Dude, I gotta tell you guys something. I'm a big fan of Shea. I think SGA is a bucket, and I really like what the Thunder are building here. So that is a huge dub. He's a future star for the league. Oh, Mr. Young. All-star guard Trey Young agreed to a five-year, $207 million rookie extension. Uh, rock and roll Trey Young. Talk about deserves. Dude took him to the conference finals way farther than anybody thought they would go. Give that boy his money. Give him his money. Yeah, deserved, well-deserved. Free agent forward Semi Ojale has agreed to a one-year deal with the Milwaukee Bucks. Oh my, uh huh? Wait, did you say something? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna be real. Don't care that much. He was a solid player for the Celtics. Good for him, I'm glad that he's getting on, a, on a, the, the champs. He's on the reigning champs. Free agent guard Max Struss is returning to Miami Heat on a two-year $3.5 million deal. His agent Mark Bartlestein of Priority Sports tells ESPN, Mark Bartlestein is just, that is a name and a half right there. I'm gonna be real, I didn't know who Max Struss was before I read that, so good for Max. Don't know the guy. I could use 3.5 million, so. Six-time All-Star forward Blake Griffin has agreed to a one-year deal to stay with the Brooklyn Nets. Guys, I gotta say, uh, I like it. Blake Griffin on the Nets is an interesting look. I don't know if I love him on the Nets, but you know, hey, at least he's staying in the league. I love Blake Griffin in the league, he's a bucket. Free agent guard Norman Powell has agreed to a five-year, $90 million deal to return to the Portland Trailblazers. I'm gonna be real. I love Norman Powell, but this Trailblazers team ain't it, okay? I love CJ, I love Dame, and I love Norman Powell. They're all buckets. Dame's not winning the championship with team he has now. Heartbreaking to say. Heartbreaking to say because he is so good. It's a top-heavy league. We know that. New Orleans, we're going to New Orleans. This, this is a team that's been doing a lot this offseason. The New Orleans Pelicans are landing Charlotte restricted free agent guard Devontae Graham on a four year, $47 million contract in a sign and trade deal. I got New Orleans as they're gonna be kind of the next Golden State. I mean, I don't think they're gonna be like perennial contenders, but they got a lot of young pieces that are really good and they might go somewhere. I'm just saying, I'm just saying between Zion, between Brandon Ingram, between now Devontae Graham, they got something there. And if they can get maybe one free agent star, Watch out, I'm just saying, watch out. Free agent center, Cody Zeller has agreed to a one-year deal with the Portland Trail Blazers. Oh my goodness. Scratch everything I just said about the Trail Blazers not being a contender because they got Cody Zeller, charge-taking king. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Blazers. Let's go, Portland. Free agent center, Daniel Tice has agreed to a four-year, $36 million deal to join the Houston Rockets. Man, nothing like a quality backup center that can stretch the floor off the bench, give you about eight a game. Oh man, really gets me going. Free agent guard Alex Caruso has agreed to a four-year, $37 million deal with the Chicago Bulls. So what we have here is interesting. Who knows who they're gonna start? They got Lonzo Ball, they got Alex Caruso, two of the greatest offensively gifted players in the league. Really though, the Bulls are looking like 
serious defensive team next year. I feel like the Knicks of this year are going to be the Bulls of next year. Free agent guard Derrick Rose has agreed to a three-year, $43 million deal to return to the New York Knicks, sources tell ESPN. You got to love it. I mean, anything Derrick Rose gets me going, that dude's story is incredible. And I'm glad that he's getting a bag coming back to the Knicks. Wish he would have went to the Bulls, but we'll take the Knicks. We'll take the Knicks. I think it would have been cool to see him on Chicago, but that's fine. Free agent guard Evan Fournier has agreed to a four-year deal that could be worth as much as $78 million for the New York Knicks. Yo, this Knicks team, it's like, they're good. Don't, don't even get it twisted. But what happened to them looking for Kyrie and Kevin Durant? Now they're settling for Evan Fournier and D. Rose. I mean, both buckets, but bruh, they're not Kyrie and Katie. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm sorry. My 10 seconds are up. I'm sorry. Oh, we got a blockbuster next. Free Asian forward Solomon Hill has agreed to a one-year deal to return to the Atlanta Hawks. I feel like he did something really good this season. I feel like he had a game winner or something. That could be wrong, but just something about Solomon Hill just emanates greatness. So I'm glad that he's returned to the Hawks on a one-year deal. That's good stuff. Free agent Dwight Howard is returning to the Lakers. His agent Case Hyder tells ESPN. So I saw in an Instagram comment, someone said, now the Lakers have a big four when they got Dwight because they have Russell Westbrook, LeBron, AD, and Dwight Howard. That's not a big four, bro. Dwight is like 40 years old. Come on, bro. It's all love. It's all love. Don't, don't get mad at me. I'm just saying. Dwight Howard cannot be a piece of a big anything. I mean, he's in the twilight of his career. GTJ. Gary Trent Jr. has agreed to a three-year, $54 million deal to return to the Toronto Raptors. Gary Trent, I feel like he was more exciting to watch on the Blazers. Call me crazy. But I like that the Raptors like him and are building around him a little bit. Him, Van Bleet, I like that combo right there. Free agent forward Trevor Ariza agreed to a one-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. Trevor Ariza is funny because he gets nutmegged and then he gets angry about it. But he was on the Wizards. Honestly, got nothing but love for Ariza. A threeza That's what we called him back in the day. But good for the Lakers. I feel like he's going to be like a Jared Dudley type. Just like a reserve and I don't know. Veteran presence. Free agent forward Mike Muscala has agreed to a two-year, two $7 million deal to return to the OKC Thunder. I mean, guys, you expect me to talk about Mike Muscala for 10 whole seconds? Bruh, I, I can't. I don't know. He stretches the floor. Good night. Have a good one. Free agent Zach Collins has agreed to a three-year, $22 million deal with the Spurs. This is like this is like Zach Collins' third or fourth team, I, I think. He hasn't played that long. But, hey, good for him. I hope he enjoys life in San Antonio. Another floor-stretching big, bro. I'm tired of talking about them. What happened to the good old days where everybody was shooting hook shots? Burkan Korkmaz has agreed to a three-year, $15 million deal to stay with the 76ers. Honestly, call me crazy, but I kind of expected Burkan to get a bigger deal. Five, five mil a year? I don't know. Maybe I have to look into his stats more. Thought he'd make more money, but okay. Good for Furcon, 15 mil. I'll take 15 mil. Free agent forward Mo Harkless has agreed to a two year, $9 million deals with the Sacramento Kings. Ugh, what a Kings move, man. What a Kings move. Move De'Aaron Fox, move Buddy Heal. They've just been underperforming for a really long time. If you're from Sacramento and you're watching this, I'm sorry for you because it's, it's been a rough ride in Sacramento when it comes to basketball in recent years. Free agent forward slash center Jeff Green has agreed to a two year, $10 million deal with the Denver Nuggets. Wow, that's actually one of the dopest moves I've seen so far. The Denver Nuggets are going to be contenders next year. They were contenders this year. They lost Jamal Murray. They add guys like Jeff Green. I think that's going to really round them out. I like that move a whole lot. Denver, watch out for him this year. Watch out for Denver. One of the bigs right here. Kyle Lowry has agreed to a three-year deal for approximately $90 million with the Miami Heat. This Heat team could go a few directions. I don't know which is going to go. It depends on how Duncan Robinson and Tyler Harrell perform, but they got guys like Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler. Now, hopefully, it's not a first-round sweep next season. That would be nice. They got championship DNA now. Kyle Lowry is that guy. He is that guy, pal. Trust me. He is that guy. Phoenix Suns all-star guard Chris Paul has agreed to stay on a new four-year deal that could be worth as much as $120 million. Chris, I love it, dude. I love it. A lot of people were talking about him going to another team but he decided to stay truthful to the team that he just got to his first finals with. And uh, I love to see it. I love to see it. Chris Paul is a bucket getter, and I'm excited to hopefully see the Suns win a chip in the coming season. Speaking of the Suns, they just lost a core piece. Free agent forward Torrey Craig has agreed to a two-year $10 million deal with the Pacers. The Pacers are another one of those teams that for the past few seasons have been kind of lackluster. I mean, really, since Paul George left, they've been kind of, you know, just teetering on mediocre and bad. So, you know, good for Torrey Craig, I guess. I mean, the, pace, the Pacers got their guy.
TJ McConnell has agreed to a four year, 35.2 million, that's just weird to look at, 35.2 million dollar deal to stay with the Pacers. TJ McConnell is one of those guys that a lot of teams want to have. And I tell you something, he, he's good. He's a quality player. The Pacers, I think, are better with him, but they're still, they're still not that good. All-star guard Mike Conley has agreed to a three-year, $72.5 million contract to stay with the Utah Jazz. Mike Conley is really underrated. Mike Conley is a bucket getter, and I, I'm glad the Jazz have him. The Jazz have a championship team. They just got to perform in the playoffs. I mean, they got to beat the teams they're supposed to beat, which I think this season was, to a lot of people, the Suns. If the Jazz can maybe mix it up a little bit, maybe they maybe they move like Rudy Gobert, but I think the Jazz could definitely be something special. They got all the pieces right now. Free agent Kelly Olenek has agreed to a three-year, $37 million deal with the Detroit Pistons. Detroit said, we're going to overpay the F out of Kelly Olenek in exchange for him actually coming to play for Detroit. Respect, guys. Now, Kelly Olenek's honestly a bucket. He kind of deserves that money, low-key. But at the same time, I think most good teams wouldn't be willing to pay him that kind of money. Restricted free agent center Jarrett Allen has agreed to a five-year, $100 million contract to stay with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, in my opinion, I'll be honest, a guy like Jared Allen, $20 million a year is probably around his cap because he can't shoot. I think that in today's NBA, having a guy you pay $20 million a year and he can't space the floor, it's tough to justify spending that kind of money on that guy. But Jared Allen is elite at what he does, and that is protecting the rim as well as putting down yams, kind of a DeAndre Jordan-esque player. So five years, $100 million bucks, good for the Cavs because they were probably swinging and missing on a lot of free agents. Free agent guard Alec Burks has agreed to a three-year, $30 million contract to stay with the Knicks. When I was watching the Knicks, I gotta say, Alec Burks give buckets. I'm down for them paying him 10 mil a year because I think he was actually giving them some really quality minutes. So I like that. I like this Knicks team. This is one of the biggest ones from yesterday. New Orleans Pelicans guard Lonzo Ball is landing on a four-year, $85 million contract with Chicago and a sign-and-trade agreement. Chicago underperformed a ton after they got those new trade pieces last year. So we got to see. We are going to have to see uh, if, if they do better this year. Because a guy like Lonzo, he's not like a, oh, yeah, he's going to make us better. You really don't know. Lonzo's been kind of a mixed bag in his career so far. So we'll see. Hopefully he does. I'd like to see the Chicago team do something. Kawhi Leonard has declined his $36 million option for next season and will become a free agent. That's actually super exciting. I'm really interested to see where he goes. However, I have a feeling he is just going to re-sign with the Clippers. I don't know. I think he's just going to sign for like a bigger contract. But we'll see. We'll see. Interested to see how that goes. And then the last move I'll go over is Russell Westbrook going to the Lakers for Kuzma, Harrell. I think maybe there was one other player and then some picks. As a Wizards fan, it's heartbreaking to see Westbrook go because he was really good for us last season. And he broke the triple-double record, which just solidifies his place in NBA and Wizards history. We're going to miss you, buddy. But I'm excited to have Kuzma and Harrell. I think Harrell's really underrated. They, like, never played him in the playoffs for some reason. So I'm excited to see what this Wizards team can do. Thanks for watching me react to all the NBA free agent moves in 10 seconds or less. I'm really glad you're here. Please, if you enjoyed, drop a sub. I plan on posting some more NBA content, posting some more Disney content. Got a lot of different plans and things in the work for this channel. And I'd love to have you along with me for the ride. Why not? It's free. It's free to subscribe. I'm just saying. I hope everybody's having a great day and enjoying free agency so far. It has been sick. It's been everything I could ask for and more. And I'm going to see you guys soon. Peace.